Point in South Louisiana contains a rare forest of ancient cypress trees. And after spending a lifetime fishing and hunting around the tree line lake, one man is on a mission to turn the area into a national park. Dave McNamara has that story in the heart of Louisiana. When Harold Scheffler guides his boat into Lake Foss Point, he sees an area that he believes rivals America's greatest national parks. This is the Yellowstone of the South. It's one of the most beautiful spots on Earth, and it's certainly worth preserving. How long have you been coming back up in this lake? Oh, gosh, go back to during the war with my dad. Which war are we talking about? World War II, <laughs> when I was five, six years old. What makes this lake unique are the groves of ancient, old-growth bald cypress trees that fill the shallow water near the shoreline. We dated 10 of them in this particular area, and five were over 1,500 years old. And one, we figured, was over 1,800 years old. But I would guess there are trees in here that were alive when Christ was walking on Earth. At age 84, Scheffler is a man on a mission. He is pushing a plan to turn this wild landscape into a national park. We have an area that's over 100,000 acres without roads, a few houseboats, but they really just camp. They don't, but it lives in them continuously. Very little utilized. Beautiful weather, and we're on a lake that's, you know, 30,000 acres, and we haven't seen a boat. Scheffler shows me a map of the area. He's drawn a thick black line around his proposed national park that extends for 25 miles through the western Atchafalaya Swamp. It covers three parishes. This is St. Martin to about right here, and this is Iberia to about right here, and St. Mary below. He contends that all of the land around these tidal lakes is owned by the state, something that may face a legal challenge it will take an act of Congress to create a national park. Scheffler says he is getting help from Congressman Clay Higgins, who represents Southwest Louisiana. We meet the criteria. Congressman Higgins' staff is putting up the meetings with the National Park Service to make sure all the criteria is met. We hope to get the approval of the governor, and that when the law is passed, that's it. It may take one session of Congress. When we turn off the boat's outboard motor, we are embraced by the natural beauty of Lake Foss Point. Paddling through in a silent way and a, have an opportunity to observe the birds and wildlife and hear the noises of the swamp. The idea of putting this cypress gem on, on the map and attracting tourism, thousands of visitors, how does that save the trees? It gives a constituency. It gives a group of people who care and are willing to speak up in defense of it. I can't help but take pictures. I snap hundreds of them, and almost every click of the shutter results in a picture I want to share. It's a moment in time that took a millennium to create. It's a Louisiana treasure that Harold Scheffler wants to share with the world. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 Local First. And for more on Lake Foss uh, Point and to see a collection of fall color photographs, go to heartlouisiana.com.